have a good time. You nice drugs. So have you guys ever had mezcal before? No. Go go juice. So <laughs> <laughs> indeed. <laughs> Should we all start with one shot? Yes. I won't say no. <laughs> we'll do little ones. This is a toast that comes with this. Para todo mal, mezcal y para todo bien también. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Para todo mal, mezcal y para todo bien también. What does it mean? It means for everything that goes wrong, have a mezcal. Even for everything that goes good, have a mezcal. Cheers. When in doubt, mezcal it out. Yeah. Right. Cheers. <laughs> it tastes like the smoky like I just echo hot sauce. Love yeah. Yeah. Black label. That one's yeah. good. Okay, so you're all here. You're training in Tucson. Ellen, you just moved to Tucson. Yeah. What drew you here in 2018? just sunshine all the time coming from the Northeast. It was so nice to just be able to like wake up and train every day that I wanted to be able to train, like with no excuses. Finn, so you've been coming here for a long time. First time down here was 10 years ago. So what's what's the standout experiences so far? It's got a great cycling community. I mean, there's a shootout on the weekends, which is a lot of fun. Obviously, the weather is great. Um, it's also nice to have like a proper like city, like a nice downtown, a lot of bike path, which is really cool. Yeah, the loop. Yeah, the loop. Do and you just spend like, a lot of time on it? A lot of rides will start and finish on the bike path. And it's just nice because you can zone out. There's no cars, safe. It's pretty cool. I love like some of the big destination rides. I mean, obviously Lemon's really cool. Like these destinations, like I'm just gonna ride 50 miles this way, climb to the top of this mountain and then ride home. It's not even that. Like I have yet to make it past Windy Point, <laughs> which is <laughs> the best part. <laughs> I so think not, it took you're not me... fully utilizing Lemon. No, it's cold up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. It's 9,000 feet at the top. Yeah. yeah. That's how the locals remain dominant. Everyone freezes at the top if you're not from here, if you don't know how to bring a jacket. So it's like yeah. the... They don't tell you. They're like, <laughs> oh, the stay strong. Yeah. Up there. <laughs> I also, the mountain biking is amazing. That's been a huge yep. upgrade from Southern California. Lots of trails, like good variety, technical trails, easy trails. Proper backcountry trails yeah, too, like, like you're out there. We've done some really cool, cool big loops out in the AZ trail. Like you have easy start pass rides. The Tortolita trails over there are probably my favorite so far. They just have so much variety of like mountain biking, which I think is the coolest part. I had no idea there was this much, this many trails down in Tucson or Southern Arizona. Like in the last five years, I feel like Tucson's done a ton to improve the whole bike infrastructure around here. I mean, every year I come down and there's like tons new bike paths everywhere. There's like a million dollar bridge that they put in the summer. Every year they're like just working to make the bike path system better, make it integrate a lot better. Basically anybody can commute across town and not have to go on the streets, which is pretty neat to see. What's your favorite ride in Tucson? So I think Star Pass is my favorite. Yeah. It's just always my go-to. Yeah. The variety of trails out there is pretty amazing too. Yeah. Like there's like some really mellow, easy trails. You have some like proper technical trails. It's just it's kind of out of everything. I love Star Pass because I think that it's actually flowy. Like it teaches you can you like flowy. carry right. speed and like actually enjoy it and like find your rhythm out there. Like regardless of the rocks, like it's just built yeah. really well. I think one of the coolest times of year is coming up too. Like when all the saguaros start to bloom and everything. Like. Spring in the desert is like the most amazing time of year. Everything's so green, there's flowers everywhere. Yeah. The weather is perfect. It's not only the riding and the weather that's great here. I think there's like such a good food scene. I'd say it's the best 30 miles of Mexican in the US. Right. Which honestly I would have to agree with. If you want to do some big rides and eat some good food, it's the place to be. Yeah. So favorite taco shop. <laughs> I have two actually. I'm gonna go El Nene's. Ooh. for when you're looking for like your gnarly street taco. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> second, I'm gonna go Sace when you're looking for your post shootout breakfast burrito. Yeah, totally. I'll say Beeline then for my like fancy, for my fancy taco. It's a fancy taco. The BK's carne asada was, it's gonna be hard to top that, I think. But we're gonna like to, a, still, we got more to, we have more to try. Yeah. Keegan and I were talking about, we wanna come down and do El Tor next year. Mm -hmm. and then do El Tor de Taco right mm -hmm. after, where we just go to all the taco shops. And like take a week. You gotta get as many calories as possible so you can go taco hunting. And, right. Well, you have to ride all day. Yep, all day. <laughs> <laughs> we should drink this. No! <laughs>